Anyway, uh, about fantastic. Uh, you know, you know the one thing you're, I played this on one of my doctoral recitals at, when I, with the Bob Wazell. Some of you may know him. Um, and by the way, a finer person I do not know. Uh, he's not only one of the great clarinet players I know. He's also a great saxophonist and a great oboe player. He's a gig guy, you know. Anyways, also now he's now he's an administrator, you know. Um, but. What was the reason I mentioned Bob Wazell here is if you look at these chords on Bob's part, you know what Bob wrote in here? Any guesses? He wrote in the chord symbols. I, you know, and I'm so dumb, I hadn't thought of that. You know, and of course, now, you've got to remember, Bob Wazell is the guy that would play the Mozart concerto with an orchestra, and then he'd go to a club and play jazz saxophone all night, okay? He could really improvise. <laughs> so, like Larry Combs, right? Okay, but so for Bob, you know, A flat, flat seven, you know, blah, 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 he's playing. But one of the things you might want to, that might help you here on this is have you thought in terms of it's this chord, it's that chord, it's this chord, it's that chord. Have you actually thought about going through and marking those? Yeah, that was a real revelation. And then I started thinking in my own pea brain, I wonder if there's other chords. And then I noticed some of the chords in the first page of the Brahms first sonata that I never realized were really chords. They just, I just kind of wrote, learned them like up and down. I didn't realize that was like a, a D major arpeggio. <laughs> when I finally realized this, Chad, I was like, how dumb am I? You know, I finally realized that's just a stupid A major arpeggio there. That's an A7. I, and I started finally marking chords and it, you know, I just started learning music really a lot faster. Okay. And so, that's one of the things to think, because remember, the whole idea you study music theory is not just a hazing ritual, okay? Okay, you know, it's actually meant to help you do real music. So you can go, you know, I mean, for example, I'm actually a big believer in fully diminished sevens. They're really important because you see them all the time. And I work on my fully diminished sevens every day, okay? I don't work on my sevens that much, you know, but I work on my fully diminished sevens. Okay, because every time a composer is cranking along and they need an extra little kick, like the end of the exposition, Mozart concerto, uh, a couple big spots at the end of the, the Weber concertino, blah blah blah. They need a little extra kaboom something. And they'll they'll go from that five chord into a fully diminished seven to give it a kick. And so if you work on your fully diminished sevens, you can just play all this music by instant presto. Okay, and so know the chords and think in terms of chords here, because that's almost certain. Because this was written for who, of course. Benny Goodman, and that's the way Benny thought, right? You know, Benny can do this stuff for a while. Two minutes? Oh, Not time to go? I'm sorry. No. Okay, okay. All right. And so, so that's kind of the real thing here is think in terms of what are the chords? What key is it in? What, what does it modulate to? So try go just get, you know, get a cup of coffee and go through and mark through some of that. I think you might find that very, very revealing, and it also will help because this piece is there's a lot of different ways to play this. You know, Stoltzman's pretty jazzy on this. Have you heard Stoltzman's version? Maybe, yeah, maybe. You know, some some people, you know, and so it's kind of it's a really interesting interpretive matter on how to play it. You know, I mean, you know, if you listen to Benny's version, yeah, and so. It's a real interesting uh, question on how to do it, and I won't get into that here. But um, thinking quarterly will certainly make it easier to play and will help you think a little more like the guy it was written for, which might be instructive to you.